Hi, this is my aunt here. Let me address this first question. Why is it important to be politically informed? Now, after the Jubilee bash, many parties are putting together capable people to go for this coming important election clash. Firstly, I think it is unprecedented. 2.4 million eligible voters will get a chance to cast their votes. Secondly, I really can't wait because I'm now 63. But for my last 20 over years, I never have a chance to vote for many reasons, but mainly many walkovers. Thirdly, there will be approximately 300,000 first-time voters. These are make up of citizens who are 21 to 24 years and around 60 thousand new citizens. If you fall into this category, it is important for you to understand the gravity of this coming election. The first time voter will surely be here at our SG 100. But I'm not sure I want to be around because I will be 113 years old. For you, you will determine whether the next 50 years will be as successful as of past 50 years. Why is this election very momentous and historical? First, this is the first time we are having an election without our founder, Mr. Lee Kuan Yew. Secondly, we just celebrated our 50 years of Golden Jubilee. What a marvelous time we have. Thirdly, it is the first time since independence all constituencies are contested. Fourth, like I said, the first time voters were likely to see SG 100. Now, why should we vote? Why should we vote? We vote because it's our right. Don't give up that right. Our right to vote is our power. When you don't vote, you are giving up your power. When we don't vote, we are giving up our power. Our vote doesn't only impact us. Our vote impacts our family, our neighbours, our district, our friends, and all Singaporeans. Give the right person the mandate and select them and elect them, we will all benefit. If we elect the wrong person, we will all suffer. Let me quickly tell you the story of a small snowflakes. A sparrow and a pigeon were talking together and a sparrow asked, how much is a snowflake in weight? The pigeon quickly responded, not much more than nothing. Well, the sparrow said, the other day I was sitting on the branch of a pine tree when it started to snow. It was a light snow, nothing like a storm. While sitting there, I started to count those small, uh, snowflakes that fell on the branch. It may be up to a million, but then the next snowflake fell on the other branch, weighing not much more than nothing and the entire branch broke. Now, the moral of the story is, maybe there's only one voice missing for action in our world, and that voice could be you in this coming election. Now, for the younger millennial generation, this is your chance to seize your moment in history. This is your era to share your vision, your values, especially to express your voice through your vote. It is better to vote for what you want and not get it than to vote for what you don't want and you get it. Spoken by Eugene Debs. Like the coming election, our next Singapore story will be written by and for and with the millennial generations. Share this video and remember to subscribe. Thank you.